We shall now begin today's spiritual event with the preliminaries, beginning with the opening prayer, to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem. Dear Lord, as we gather before you to participate in this event, make us aware that we do this competition not for our own glory, but to glorify your holy name. May you grant every student contestant a sympathetic heart to understand that this is just a friendly competition and that it is not in winning that truly counts, but the highest and noble way to get to the national finals. May you bless the organizers, judges, and regional coordinators for their efforts and true service in seeking for the finalists from the regions. Bless all the student contestants and help them realize that as long as they have done their best, it is victory for all of them. Bless the winners in the Saimath Battle 2021 that they may be humble in victory and realize that they would not succeed without you. Bestow your generosity and love to all of us present today. Whatever we accomplish in this Saimath battle, we offer them to you. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In celebration of the National Science and Technology Week, the Department of Science and Technology and the Philippine Science High School System present the first ever NSTW SIMAT Battle. I am warmly well signed 2021 of Region 6. To Calabar, Sotoy, the Science and Mathematics School, Southern Mindanao. Marhay na aga po, we are joined by some of the brightest elementary first ever in the big regional Saima battle. There you have it. I can now feel the around here. I know I know our participants. Also to our PSHS, our Philippine Science High School, Central Design and our regional champion, Dad Clayton F. from Ligao East Central Who School. Santina Ivel Yu. Quizmaster is the Academic Affairs Manager of First Industrial Science and Technology College and a Senior Lecturer at Miriam College. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Ryan M. Noliel. Hello everyone. I am so glad to be with you today. I am grateful for this opportunity to host the first ever NSCW SciMath Battle. Aligned with this year's NSCW's theme, Agama Teknolohiya, Tugon sa hamon ng panahon, the NSCW SciMath Battle 2021 aims to urge our grade school students to develop their interest in STEM, or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and encourage them to excel in their studies and eventually apply for a scholarship at the Philippine Science High School system. 
To formally welcome us to this event, let us welcome an empowered woman who received the University of the Philippines Los Baños College of Arts and Sciences 2021 Distinguished Alumni Award for Educational Administration and Leadership. She is also the woman behind the recognition of the Philippine Science High School System as first place or grand winner in Australia's Queensland University of Technology 2020 Impact Stories Awards through PISAI's Global Education for the Filipino Youth. May I call on the Executive Director of the PSHS System, Director Lilia T. Habacon, for her message. A pleasant and an exciting day to all of you. I'm delighted to welcome all the contestants, their families, coaches, and supporters, and all the netizens who are watching the Philippine Science High School SciMath Battle 2021 in celebration of this year's National Science and Technology Week. Through the SciMath Battle, we hope to promote the premier science high school education that PISAI offers while giving elementary school pupils an opportunity to showcase their knowledge and skills in the fields of science and mathematics. I hope that this national academic battle will help enhance the participants' character through a healthy competition that provides knowledge review and enrichment, new learning experience, and increased individual motivation to learn. All of our national finalists are assets of their school, and I hope they will pursue their high school education in PISAI. I hope that they applied for PISAI race or requirements for admission, criteria, and evaluation, and that they will all qualify in the campus of their choice. If you have not applied yet, you have until November 29 to do so. The SciMath Battle is a collaborative effort of all the PSHS system and the 16 campuses that initially staged the regional competition prior to today's national finals. I commend the dependable and resilient PSI teachers and workforce behind this event. Thank you for your hard work and commitment. I'm also grateful to DOST Science and Technology Information Institute and Kuiper Philippines for the Starbucks package for additional prize for the School of the Winners and to the DOST Science Education Institute for the corporate giveaways for all the national qualifiers. Moreover, we shall also recognize the winners in the PSHS PSICOM that promotes science communication to advocate scientific literacy to the general public. Thank you to all the students who joined PSICOM and congratulations to the winners. Lastly, to all the SciMath contestants, Remember that your victory in this SciMath battle is a product of your diligent work and devotion. This honor makes you sparkling in the middle of names and fame. Strive to accomplish your every dream with your passion to learn and willingness to be taught. I find comfort in knowing that our future rests in the hands of brilliant minds like our contestants in this year's SciMath battle. Congratulations in advance to the winners. Thank you, Director Habakon, for that very inspiring message. We hope that our students who are with us today will pursue their aspirations and be one of the future scholars at the PSHS. So let us begin the much-awaited quiz V of the year, the NSTW SciMath battle 2021. But before we formally start the NCW SciMath battle, let's revisit the mechanics of the competition. Here are the guidelines for today's event. NCW SciMath battle is an online quiz B and held via Zoom. Quizzes will be used as a platform for the competition. The competition will cover topics in elementary science and mathematics. It will also cover topics on emerging technologies. The competition will be divided into three rounds. The easy round will have 10 questions. Contestants will be given 30 seconds to answer each question. A correct answer gets 5 points. For the average round, we will have 7 questions. Contestants will be given 60 seconds to answer each question. 
a correct answer gets 7 points. The difficult round, on the other hand, will have 5 questions. Contestants will be given 90 seconds to answer each question. A correct answer gets 10 points. Wrong answers and no answers will garner no point. The timer will start after I say go. We will also disable quizzes timer and use an official timer. The accumulated points from the easy, average, and difficult rounds shall determine the winners of this competition. In case of a tie, a tie-breaking round shall be conducted. The judges will resolve any concerns and their decision is final. At this point, we would like to introduce to you the judges in today's competition. who are all experts in their field. For mathematics, we have Mr. Chris Gerald Del Norte. He is the Data Analytics Unit Head of the PSHS Office of the Executive Director, Knowledge and Innovation Division. For science, Ms. Caridad Gicaraya, Special Science Teacher 3 for Integrated Science from the PSHS Main Campus. And for technology, Mr. Joel Bautista, the Chief of the Knowledge Innovation Division of the PSHS Office of the Executive Director. All national contestants are regional champions. Let me introduce to you the 16 finalists for this year's SciMath Battle. From Ilocos Region 1, Elisha Jimaima Nicolen M. Olympia, Mariano Marcos State University, Laboratory Elementary School, Lawag City Campus, Division of Lawag City. From Cagayan Valley Region 2, Sean Jaden F. Dalire, Muirwoods Academy Incorporated, Division of Bayombong, Nueva Vizcaya. From the Cordillera Administrative Region, Grail Rian G. Egsan, Binguet Special Education Center, Division of Binguet. From Central Luzon Region 3, Catriel Anika D. Carion, San Fernando Elementary School, Division of San Fernando City. From the National Capital Region, Abisha Beatrix A. Florante of Project 6 Elementary School, Division of Quezon City. From Calabar Zone, Region 4A, Samuel Gab R. Villacorta, Kumba Quezon Integrated School, Division of Lipa City. From Mimaropa, Region 4B, Jana Irish A. Isar, Mamburao Central School, Division of Occidental Mindoro. From Bicol Region 5, Ibiel Q. Cantina, Ligao East Central School, Division of Ligao City. From Western Visayas, Region 6, Jed Eugene C. Palma, Pasi 1 Central School, Division of Pasi City. From Central Visayas, Region 7, Jan Jedrek S. Ruiz, West City Exceptional Child Learning Center, Division of the Magueta City. From Eastern Visayas, Region 8, Ia A. Gabumpa, Caldiga 1, Central Elementary School, Division of Samar. From Sambuanga Peninsula, Region 9, Desiree L. Kali, Boog Sped Center, Division of Sambuanga Sibugay. From Central Mindanao, Region 10, Lindsay May O. Mamawa, Lasal University Integrated School, Osamis City, Division of Osamis City. From Southern Mindanao, Region 11, Katrin Ronica S. Gatilao, Bridges Academy of Tagum Incorporated, Division of Tagum City. From Soxergen Region 12, Nancy K. Lay G. Bulao, General Santo City Sped Integrated School, Division of General Santo City. And finally, from Caraga Region 13, Kate Marcela Dayan Mallorca, Agusan del Sur Pilot Elementary School, Division of Bayugan City. Now that you have met our 16 regional champions, let me read to you first the honesty pledge. It should be the responsibility of everyone concerned to protect and maintain the integrity of the competition. Joining this competition means that the contestants will only submit answers that are the result of their personal effort. The use of calculators, mobile apps or computer software, consultation with anyone, and using physical or online reference is prohibited. Joining the competition shall also mean being aware of the disqualification if proven to have violated the rules.
Let's begin the competition. This question in science, what is the largest organ of the human body? Go. The correct answer is skin. 14 students got it correctly. The skin is considered as the largest organ in the human body. The liver is the second largest organ. Question number two, technology. He is the chief executive officer and co-founder of Facebook. Go. The correct answer is Mark Elliott Zuckerberg. 14 students got it correctly. Mark Elliott Zuckerberg is an American computer programmer who was the co-founder and CEO of Facebook, a social networking website. Question number three, mathematics. In three times four equals 12, three and four are called factors. 12 is the product and is also a blank of three and four. Go. The correct answer is multiple. 13 students got it correctly. Multiples are the result of multiplying a number by an integer. Fourth question, science. The sun is the primary source of light and energy of the earth. How does energy from the sun travel to the earth? Go. The correct answer is radiation. 14 students got it correctly. For the fifth question, technology. Which of the following is an input device? Go. The correct answer is keyboard. 13 students got it correctly. The sixth question is from mathematics. Find the missing number that fits the number sequence. 3 over 2, 5 over 4, 8 over 6, 12 over 8, blank. Go. Ten students got this correctly, and the correct answer is 17 over 10. To solve this, the numerator follows this sequence. Add 2, add 3, add 4, add 5. For the denominator, add 2 for each succeeding fraction. Question number 7, science. Some materials are full of tiny holes that allow air or water to pass through them. An example is a sponge that easily absorbs water. What is this property called? Go.
The correct answer is porosity. 12 students got this correctly. Porosity is defined as the ratio of the volume of pores to the volume of bulk rock and is usually expressed as a percentage. Question number eight, technology. What do you call a software application used to access and view web pages? Go. Fifteen students got this correctly. The correct answer is web browser. Web browsers are used primarily for displaying and accessing websites on the internet, as well as other content created using languages such as hypertext markup language and extensible markup language. The ninth question is from math. The perimeter of a square is 56 centimeters. What is its area in square centimeters? Type only the number and no need for units. Go. The correct answer is 196. Nine students got this correctly. For our last easy question from science, question number 10. Coronavirus disease or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. According to the World Health Organization, which of the following is not an effective way to prevent or treat COVID-19? Go. The correct answer is antibiotics, and everyone got this correctly. So that ends our easy round. Let us find out how the contestants are doing. But before that, here is a video about the Philippine Science High School, and let's watch this. Okay, Bong, ipapasa yung bola dito sa taas, ha? Tapos, numbrive ka dito sa gitna. Ilang newtons, coach? Newtons? Newtons of force. Pag nalilip ako, yung amount of force na ibibigay ko ay dapat directly proportional sa height ng arc o trajectory at sa distance na tinitravel ng bola. Pampisa ito. To know more about the Philippine Science High School System, go to www.pshs.edu.ph. sabong binili mo? Di ba mabula masyado? Wala yung sasabon ate kasi tubig po so hard water, may calcium at magnesium ions nagre-react sa fatty acids ng sabon. Kaya hindi siya masyado bumubula. Pangsisa ito! To know more about the Philippine Science High School System, go to www.pshs.edu.ph Hi, Mom! Hi! Broccoli. Did you know that broccoli is prone to worms, eggs, cabbage loopers, and diamondback worms? Don't worry, anak. Mamamatay din yan sa washing and steaming. But what about it being a goitrogen? A goitro what? It has isothiocyanides kasi that can cause hypothyroidism. So goitro... Pampisa ito! To know more about the Philippine Science High School System, go to www.pshs.edu.ph We are back, and here's how the contestants perform in the easy round. We will now proceed to the average round. Every question is worth 7 points, and you will answer this for 60 seconds. For the first question, science. Suppose you find yourself in the middle of the ocean. Is it safe to drink seawater? Go.
The correct answer is no, because seawater will cause dehydration. 13 of you got this correctly. Drinking seawater or any kind of salt water increases the salinity of the blood that actually draws water out of the cells, which ultimately shrivel and die. And the person drinking the water can die of dehydration. The mechanism responsible for this is osmosis. Second question, technology. What part of the computer does not belong to the group? Go. The correct answer is keyboard. Seven of you got this correctly. LCD projector, printer, and monitor are all output devices while the keyboard is an input device. Question number three, mathematics. What must be added to four and three fourths plus four and one sevenths to get 10? Go. The correct answer is 3 and 3 over 28. Eight of you got this correctly. For the fourth question, science. Humans are known to be warm-blooded animals, while snakes and most other reptiles are cold-blooded. What does cold-blooded mean? Thirteen of you got this correctly. Cold-blooded animals have body temperatures that depend on their environment. Cold-blooded animals are also known as ectothermic or poikilothermic animals. Their bodies cannot regulate temperatures internally, so their temperature is not constant and varies according to their environment. Question number five, technology. Which of the following communication media can provide the fastest internet connection?
The correct answer is fiber optics. 11 of you got this correctly. Fiber internet is the fastest widely available internet technology. It uses fiber optic cables, which are capable of transmitting large amounts of information quickly. Fiber optics transmit information as light pulses along a glass or plastic fiber. Used for long distance and high performance data networking, commonly used in telecommunication services such as internet, television, and telephones. Question number six, mathematics. Omega has a watermelon that weighs 1,200 grams. She cuts the watermelon into five parts where the biggest part weighs the same as the other four equal parts. How many grams does the biggest part weigh? Type only the number and no need for units. Go. The correct answer is 600. Only five of you got this correctly. The watermelon can be imagined to be cut into eight equal parts, with the biggest slice equivalent to four slices. 1,200 grams divided by eight parts is equal to 150 grams per part. 150 gram times four parts is equal to 600 grams for the biggest slice. For the last average question from science, syrups are thick, sticky liquids. The thicker the syrup, the slowly it will move down a slope. The graph shows the distance that four different syrups made when they move down a slope in one minute. Which syrup is the thickest? Go! The correct answer is brown. 12 of you got this correctly. The thicker the syrup, the more slowly it will move down a slope. Therefore, brown syrup is the thickest since it has the shortest distance moving down a slope. And that ends our average round. But before we move on to the difficult and final round, let us watch this animated video to learn more about how you can apply for a scholarship in the Philippine Science High School system. Got questions on our minds, answers that we need to find, let's go. When we ask and wonder, this is how we discover, let's go, let's go. From the stars are both to waters below, to our hopes, our dreams, and our love, we hold. Ito na po ako. 
Mano po, ma. Pa. Sige po. May titingnan lang ako saglit sa laptop. Ate Ani, ano yung binabasa mo? Nagre-research ako tungkol sa Philippine Science High School o PSHS Mason. Napanood ko kasi sa school yung video nila. Oo nga pala, Ate Ani. Huling taon mo na sa elementary. Iyan na ba ang balak mong pasukan pagka-graduate mo? Oo sana. Merong labing ani na PSHS campuses sa buong Pilipinas na maaring pagpilian. Isang campus bawat rehiyon. Dahil ikaw ay isang scholar ng bayan kapag nakapasa ka sa PSHS. Kaya makatwiran lamang na mapupunta sa mga pinakamagagaling at pinakamatatalinong estudyante ang PSHS scholarship na ito. Ah, sabagay pero ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng Science High School? Ang PSHS ay isang science high school dahil ang focus nito ay ang pagbibigay ng dekalidad na science and technology education sa mga mag-aaral nito upang ihanda sila na maging mauhusay na science and technology professional sa hinaharap. Aba! Ayos pala dyan! Mahalaga kasi ang science and technology sa araw-araw nating pamumuhay. Hindi ba, Ate Ani? Tinutulungan nito ang ating lipunan na maging maunlad, malusog at ligtas. Tama ka, Mason. Pero hindi lamang ito ang dahilan kung bakit gusto kong makapasok sa PSHS. Ha? Eh, ano po bang ibang dahilan mo? Sa PSHS kasi, hindi lamang academic excellence ang itinuturo, kundi pati na rin youth leadership, integrity, at higit sa lahat, service. Ah, bakit nga ba importante ang mga values na ito, Ate Ani? Dahil bilang mga mag-aaral ng PSHS, ang bayan ay dumedepende sa kanila upang maging mga future leaders ng Pilipinas. At ang isang leader ay dapat na hindi lamang matalino at mahusay. Dapat ay mayroon din siyang integridad na gawin ang nararapat at puso na maglingkod sa mga kapwa mamamayan niya. Kung ganun, hindi lamang pala isang pribilehyo ang maging isang PSHS student, no? Isa rin itong responsibilidad. Totoo yan. Bilang mga scholar ng bayan na nakatatanggap ng Philippine Science High School Education, mayroon silang responsibilidad na mag-aral ng mabuti, responsibilidad na manguna sa larangan ng siyensya at teknolohiya, at responsibilidad na maglingkod sa bayan. You have what it takes to be an incoming grade 7 student for the school year 2022 to 2023 at the Philippine Science High School. Apply now through the website nce.pshs.edu.ph Download the application form from www.pshs.edu.ph For more information, call or send us an email. Premier Science High School Education begins at DOST Philippine Science High School. Let us check the scores for the average round. So we are now in our last round for this year's NSTW SciMath Battle. The accumulated points from the easy, average, and difficult rounds shall determine the winners of the competition. In case of tie, sudden death questions will be asked. Let's move on to the difficult round. For the first difficult question, science. Walking by the riverbank, you pick up a rock made up of sand, small stones, and compacted with hardened mud. What kind of rock is this?
The correct answer is sedimentary. 13 of you got this correctly. For the second difficult question, technology. Which best describes a motherboard? Go. The correct answer is a circuit board that contains the CPU, other chips, and minute electronic components. 13 of you got this correctly. Question number three, mathematics. A bus traveled in 2.5 hours at 60 kilometers per hour from point A to point B and four and one thirds hours at 90 kilometers per hour from point B to point C. How far in kilometers is point C from point A? Type only the number no units. Go. Five of you got this correctly. The correct answer is 540. To solve this problem, from point A to point B, you multiply 2.5 to 60, and that's 150 kilometers. From point B to point C, you multiply 4 and 1 third and 90, that's 390 kilometers. From point A to point C, you add 150 to 390, and that's 540 kilometers. For the fourth difficult question, science. Which of the following is an example of camouflage in animals? Go.
The correct answer is an insect's wings shaped like a leaf. All of you got this correctly. For our last question, technology. The if function is a built-in function in Excel that is categorized as a blank function. Type your answer in lowercase and no punctuations. Go. The correct answer is logical. Five of you got this correctly. So that concludes the quiz B, and we would like to thank all of our regional champions for doing great in this quiz show. Congratulations to all of you for making this far. The organizers will now be tabulating the scores. And now, let us listen to a message of hope to our students. It is an honor to introduce to you a man of science and public service. The DOSC Undersecretary for Scientific and Technological Services and the Officer in Charge of the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or PHIVOX, Dr. Renato U. Solidum, Jr. An exciting and learning-filled day to all of you, especially to the contestants in the Philippine Science High School System's SciMath Battle in celebration of the 2021 National Science and Technology Week. Academic competitions, such as the Sci-Math Battle, is one way to promote interest to study in the premier science high school education that PISAI offers to the Filipino youth with high aptitude in science and mathematics. I am happy that this academic competition involves the best and the brilliant students from across the country who have stood out as regional champions. Your academic prowess is admirable. You are all academic heroes who prove that staging and learning must not stop despite this pandemic. I hope that your experience in the SciMath battle helps cultivate your passion for excellence and love for learning. I look forward to you along with your eligible friends and classmates applying for a scholarship in PISAI through its requirements for admission criteria and evaluation or race. Don't miss the opportunity to be a precise scholar. To the parents, coaches, teachers, and netizens watching the SciMath battle, I share with you our appreciation that this contest can help strengthen students' academic self-concept and set a framework for practicing and facilitating a growth mindset among students. This academic competition teaches students how to handle stressful, competitive situations. Our dear students, through your participation, whether you won or not, this experience is a stepping stone and an amazing learning experience to further improve yourselves, especially your character in handling victory and defeat. I congratulate all the participants, the coaches, the parents, and the technical working team in the regional and national level of the SciMath battle for this successful event. I also thank the DOST Science and Technology Information Institute and Kuiper Philippines for the Starbucks package as additional prize 
for the school of this year's winners. More power to the Philippine Science High School System. Mabuhay ang NSTW, mabuhay ang DOST. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much, USEC Solidum, for the words of encouragement to the youth. It is certainly an honor and a privilege for us to have you as the Undersecretary for Scientific and Technological Services and for the support you have given the PSHS through the years. So once again, our warmest thanks and mabuhay ka, Dr. Solidum. Based on the tabulation, we have two contestants who are currently tied. May we call on from the National Capital Region, Abisha Beatrix A. Florante, Project 6 Elementary School, Division of Quezon City. And from Caraga Region 13, Keith Marcela Dayan Mallorca, Agusan del Sur Pilot Laboratory School, Division of Bayugan City for the clincher round. For the first clincher question, science. This body system is a passive system that removes unnecessary materials in the body fluids of an organism to maintain internal chemical homeostasis and prevent damage to our body. Go! The correct answer is excretory system. Both Karaga and NCR got the correct answer. For the second clincher question, technology. It is concerned with the proper way to communicate in an online environment. Type in your answer in lowercase. Go. The correct answer is netiquette. We have a winner for the clincher round. Before we proceed to the awarding of winners for the NECW SIMAS battle, we are including in the ceremony the announcement of the winners of the PSICOM National Science Communication Competition. PSICOM aims to nurture their science communication skills and raise awareness on the power of science communication to help a greater number of people understand science-related issues through laymanized information dissemination. This competition was open to grade 6, 10, 11, and 12 students from July 15 to October 1, 2021. More than 700 students coming from 196 schools work individually and in groups to submit 567 entries into five categories. Here are the PSICOM winners. For science feature writing, elementary category with 97 entries. The Netizens' Choice Award goes to Noshka Adelaide Nobleza of Ladislao Diwa Elementary School. The third place winner is Maxine Jane Galindez of Alcala Central Elementary School. The second place winner is Jerry Masay Trinidad of Tarlac Montessori School. The first place winner is Sabrina Leje Moreno of St. Edward Integrated School. For science speech writing secondary category with 245 M. The Netizens' Choice Award goes to Rex Preconcilio of Naga City Science High School. The third prize winner is Mark Razel B. Caranzo of the Philippine Science High School, Eastern Visayas Campus. The second prize winner is Kalina Julian Pamplona of Philippine Science High School, Eastern Visayas Campus. The first prize winner is Lorene Jasmine Mercado of Broken Shire College, Turil, Davao City, Incorporated. 
for visual design category with 125 student participants. The Netizens' Choice Award goes to L'Oreal Jean E. Dumlao of the Gupan City National High School. The third prize winner is Yeshua Gabriel C. Aspera of Philippine Science High School, Calabarzon Region Campus. The second prize winner is Chelsea Ara Dayan F. Mercado of Philippine Science High School, Cagayan Valley Campus. The first prize winner is Joseph Christian M. Cuenca of Philippine Science High School, Calabarzon Region Campus. For science, short video, call to action category with 49 entries. The Netizens' Choice Award goes to the group of Harley Kim Gajardo, Acel Junio, and Aliana Vicente of Tayug National High School. The third prize goes to Juan Jaime Yen of the Philippine Science High School, Bicol Region Campus. The second prize goes to the group of Lian Altea Joyce Coro and Jo Samantha Garcia of the Philippine Science High School, Caraga Region Campus. And the first prize goes to the group of Shannon Alex Basan, Alisa Nicole Cabarullas, and Elsu Hamayo of Philippine Science High School, Southern Mindanao Campus. COVID-19's effects are anything but black and white. It's in the gray zone. Is this positive news? It seems too good to be true. What's the final verdict? For science short video instructional category with 46 entries. The Netizens' Choice Award goes to Isabella Rica May Ballesteros, Alia Juice Santiago, and Stacy Elurin Arzadon of Tayog National High School. The third prize goes to Jan Gabriel Manzan of Philippine Science High School, Main Campus. The second prize goes to Divine Grace Llamas of Iloilo Scholastic Academy. The first prize goes to the group of Val Allen El Tagonde, Aaron John Passis, and Malena Riz Balion of Rizal National Science High School. At sa oras na makahanap ng antigen ang mga leukocytes, isasagawa na nila ang Oplan Puksa. Oplan Puksa, ano yun? Pigil, ulat, kalat, sangga, at atake. Yan ang Oplan Puksa. There you have it! Congratulations to the PSYCOM winners and their respective schools. We hope that this will be the starting point of your exciting journey as the next generation of science communicators. Now, it is time to announce the top three winners for this year's NSTW SciMath Battle. Based on the final tabulation, non-winners will also get consolation prizes of 2,000 pesos gift check and corporate giveaways from the Science Education Institute and Metro Pacific Waters of the MVP Group. And to learn more about what prizes are at stake, let's watch this video. The top three winners will receive interesting and useful prizes for them and for their schools. All the top three winners will receive Starbucks package from the DOST Science and Technology Information Institute and Kuiper Philippines. Corporate giveaways, 
and a printer and 2,000 worth of gift check from the PSHS system. Moreover, the third and second place winners will receive a smartphone, and the champion will receive MakeBlock and Bot Robotics Kit with a tablet from the PSHS system. Congratulations to the winners! Thank you very much to our sponsors for the additional prizes. Thank you, Mr. Joel Bautista. And now, it is time to announce the top three winners for this year's NECW SciMath Battle. The third place goes to... From the National Capital Region, Abisha Beatrix A. Florante of Project 6 Elementary School, Division of Quezon City. Congratulations! The second place goes to... From the Central Mindanao Region 10, Lindsay May O. Mamawag of La Salle University Integrated School. Congratulations! And now, the first place and this year's champion of the NCW Sign Math Battle, our national champion is... From Central Luzon, Region 3, Catriel Anika D. Carion of San Fernando Elementary School. Congratulations! Congratulations to all our regional champions for joining the first ever NCW Sci Math Battle. We hope that this has been a worthwhile experience for all of you. Students, we know that this is just the beginning of your exciting journey in the world of STEM. So study harder and follow your dreams. We also thank our sponsors and organizers for making the 2021 NCW SciMath Battle a success. Sponsors, Science and Technology Information Institute or STII, Kuiper Philippines, Science Education Institute and Metro Pacific Waters of the MVP Group, Regional Coordinators from the Philippine Science High School campuses, the PSHS Executive Committee composed of campus directors and the Office of the Executive Director. Thank you for supporting the SciMath Battle. Again, this has been your host, Ryan Olyal, now signing off. Tandaan po natin na hindi natin maikakaila na ang agham at teknolohiya ang tugon sa kasalukuyang hamon ng panahon. Thank you very much everyone and see you all next year for the 2022 NCW SciMath Battle.